Uh, I was curious uh, if the governor closed beaches like they did in Alabama. Yeah. I know Alabama law, the state owns to the mean high tide line, which is about 15 foot from the water, but they closed all beaches. So that's private property being closed. And they're threatening to fine people for going on their own property. Is that legal? Can they fine you for being in your own backyard? John, that is a great question. Something I thought about this week. What do you think, Jim? Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I suspect, it's amazing times. Well, it, it's something that you would routinely say no, but the government's given broad powers uh, in, in, in matters of public health. And in emergency, when an emergency has been declared, much like when we have hurricane, it's not quite to the level of martial law, but like martial law, essentially a lot of rights that you rely upon normally are suspended and they can do a lot of things. And so my guess is, and this is not an area of law that I practice in routinely. Right. I don't know that anybody practices in this area of law right. much, uh, but my, my, uh, my guess is that they can probably do this for a short period of time in an emergency situation. Like they like they've done it. It is so. It is really incredible. And John, I, I I was I was struck too by the executive order out of Alabama, not from Mississippi. Right. To, clear to make sure. And it is it is something to have a state government tell you that you're not you don't have access to your own private property. It's just it's just not the way we live over here. Right. No, we're not used to it. And and quite frankly, I, I know people that are over there living in the area on those beaches. I'm not sure how strictly they're enforcing that. <laughs> right. But but the right. point is, they're trying to send a strong message to everybody that's right. that, hey, you know, uh, stay in, okay? That's right. And I don't know that they're running out, you know, throwing handcuffs on people that are on their own private property if it's two or three people at a time, but it's done to send a message because this is a deadly serious pandemic. You know, we're in close proximity to New Orleans, which by the news accounts I've seen now, it has the highest uh, rate of, of this on an increased basis, per capita basis, of anywhere in the world, New Orleans does right now. So and it's, you know, it's right next door. So. It's going to get probably worse before it gets better. Where's my hand sanitizer? <laughs> I, I feel like I need it right now. <laughs> no, scary stuff. It John, really thank you so much for the call from Hattiesburg tonight. We really do appreciate all of our friends in the Pine Belt.